Hello there, it's Heather Hakes. I decided since I came on and shared with you a before my Con Marie tidying up method, I had to give you an after. I went all in on this project. In fact, over a seven day period, 35 hours spent, I completed all steps. Look at my line. So remember, if you're unfamiliar with this Marie Kondo from Netflix, the five categories are clothing, which that was a monstrous pile, but I have so much to donate and even sell some brand new stuff on Poshmark. Books, again, I'm donating papers. Komono was the big one. So that was like kitchen, bathroom, garage, and then finally sentimental items. I would say overall, Yes, it was a big project. It was definitely overwhelming at times, but a lot of big projects in life are overwhelming, right? When you're looking big picture, but when you step back and, and you work on little pieces at a time or what can I do today to get closer to my end goal, things become less overwhelming. I want to show you some after um progress and what I'm most excited about. So here we go. In the kitchen, I used to store all of my pots and pans in the oven because I had nowhere else to store it. Like that was jam packed, could barely close the door. And now I've been able to get everything, everything under there stacked pretty good for me. Another cabinet. I love these stacking shelves. Look how nice and organized. That stuff, oh, you guys, talk about not to be super cheesy and cliche, but seriously, my house just sparks joy. I walk in every room and it just feels lighter and organized and I love it. Um, one of my, I wanna show you my favorites. So my desk space, this has totally been decluttered. I've just gotten rid of things. This used to be just full of crap and it was like so loud and then I just typed up all you know my my quotes and my go-to's on one sheet so it looks so much nicer what I really want to show you is my master closet is maybe my best my best project my best piece but also Marie Kondo shares her tips for folding laundry and I'm not really a folder but I rolled and that rolling, let me show you, it makes a huge deal. So in my, what would be dresser, but under my bed, here's what I was able to do. These are yoga pants. So for example, I can see all the colors, all my stuff, cause this used to be folded. And of course, I would always just wear like the top three things because well, they were convenient. But this folding or for me rolling method, huge sock drawer, Everybody has a mate. Look at this. And then, um, oh, sports bras. This was another good one. Again, just so you can see everything. But really, my best thing is my master closet. This is what I'm so stoked about. So if you remember up here, I used to have a bathroom rod full of puffy vests and just shit. Shoes all over the floor, like I could barely see anything. It was so cluttered. And now I got all my purses. She does share to put purses inside purses, which I totally agree. Like that helps a ton. But look, I rolled all my jeans so I can see them all. All my shoes fit on, once I was able to get rid of those 33 pair, all of them fit on the shelves. And it's just so much more clean and organized. Same with bathroom drawers. Oh, by the way, I want to share. I did spend around $100 on replacing bath towels, a couple kitchen items, and then drawer and cabinet organizers. But I've already made more than that by selling just a few items on Facebook Marketplace. So in the bathroom, look at this. These things, these containers are from the dollar store. And now it just, things are so much more organized and accessible and talk about sparking joy right all right two more closets I'll show you the garage and that's my that's my finale this closet again if you remember I had a bathroom rod under here 
with all my flannels and now I can get all puffy vest flannels in one. That shelf is now usable and all my luggage from the garage can now be stored in my closet. And the after in this closet, this that's how many clothes I got rid of. I have all these wooden hangers here and in my garage and I can see the floor like it's just glorious. It feels so good. And finally, I do want to show you my garage because that ended up taking the most time because I, I had a lot of sentimental stuff. I found things from planning my wedding, which I didn't go through with um, several years ago. I don't know why I was holding on to that stuff. I had picture frames and pictures of stuff that were like, I don't care about that, right? Cards from exes. But now my garage so much joy. Everything is organized in my tubs and containers. This is all donation to sell. I hope through my process of tidying up that it, it has motivated you to start your own project and just know, yes, you will be overwhelmed at times. And if you are married or you have children, bring them into this. Like, make tidying up be a family thing. And when you get overwhelmed, just remember, break it down. You do one section at a time and you will finish. Have a great week.